specimen paper 2 section 1 number 1 write the value of the underlying digit the underlying digit is 3 let's place our place value matrix we have 1s 10s hundreds we have tenths and we have hundreds the 3 is under tenths Therefore, it represents three tenths. Notice I did not say tens, but tenths. Three tenths. That's the answer. It can also be written in words. Three tenths. If you combine words and numbers, three T E N T. It is also correct. Just do not put tenths only. It will be wrong because you were not asked for the place value, but you were asked for the value. So for the value you need, how many and how many of what? Round of 2,845 to the nearest thousand. You were taught that when you round off to the nearest thousand, you underline the thousands, is it? Ones, tens hundreds thousands underline the thousands digits circle the hundreds digit you look to see if the hundred digit is five and greater or if it's less than that if it's five and greater you add one to the thousands in this case it is greater but what are you really doing when you're running off to the nearest thousand two thousand eight hundred and forty five is between two thousands it's between two thousand and three thousand so you are asking yourself which thousand is closer to because you have two thousand and eight hundreds eight hundreds are almost making another thousand so we are going with the three thousand remember a tip is that if you're running off to the nearest thousand it means the hundreds tens and ones must turn to zero number three we have 194 take away 86 equals 170 plus something minus 86 many times you look at a question and it might look a little complicated if you decide not to analyze it so let's analyze it this is an equation it has an equal sign so that means something is equal to something 194 take away 86 is equal to 170 plus something take away 86 so you are supposed to get the same answer on both sides of the equal sign when you move them out nothing is missing on the left so it's 194 take away 86 let's see what you get there Four take away six cannot so we regroup 14 take away six it's eight 8 take away 8 is 0, 1 take away nothing, or we can fill in that empty space with a 0, is 1. So we have 108. Let's go to the right side now of this equal sign. 170 plus something take away 86. Notice we got 108 on the left side. 194 take away 86 equals 108. Interestingly, we have another takeaway 86 here, just as we have on the left side. Therefore, it means that this, I'm going to change the color, well, I'm going to highlight this area here, has to be equal to 194. Because 194 takeaway 86 gave us 108, and we want to get 108 on this side as well. So, 194 take away 170 equals 4 take away 0 is 4 9 take away 7 is 2 1 take away 1 is 0 so that's 24 24 is missing here if you add it back, you're supposed to get the same thing.
Correct. What is the numeral at position A on the number line? We have 125 here, we have 175 here. What makes sense? Do we go 126, 127, 128, 129? Is that making sense? No, it isn't. We do what's making sense. So if it is you started and it didn't make sense, do it over. All right? So the answer is actually here's 135, 45, 55, 65. Wrong. 125, 130, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. So here would be 160. 65, 70, 75. Sorry about that. Let's move on. Calculate 25% of 160. Very familiar type of question. What does 25% mean? Mean, it means 25 over 100. What does off mean? Off means to multiply. And we have 160, we express it in fraction form. Okay, 25 into 25, 1. 25 into 100, 4. Nice. 4 into 4, 1. 4 into 16, 4. Bring up the zero, the answer is 40. Number 6. What fraction is shaded? Very interesting. This could look like a complicated question, but it's not. We have three fifths on one side, and we have three tenths on the other side. We can change fifths into tenths. What? Let's go back to our fractions. What does it mean to have fifths? It means that you're cutting a whole into five equal parts. What does it mean to have tenths? It means that you're cutting a whole into ten equal parts. If you have five equal parts and you cut each of those five equal parts into two, then you'd have ten. So what we want to do is express both parts that are visible there with the same denominator. So each of these three slices we're going to cut into two and have tenths so we can compare tenths with tenths we can do that either mentally or we can draw right? so three fifths will make six tenths and we can also do it by multiplying five times two equals ten so three times two equals six now it is to compare tenths with tenths. Six tenths plus three tenths equal nine tenths. And out of a whole, how many tenths do you need to complete the whole? This is the missing part here. This is the shaded part, I should say. Three, sorry, six tenths plus three tenths equals nine tenths. We have nine tenths so far. This area here represents nine tenths. 9 tenths and how many tenths make a whole? Very simply, our answer is 1, sorry, 1 tenth. Write the total value of the bills and coins. This is very easy. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. You have a 20 and a 10, so you know you have $30 in bills. 25 and 10, 35 and 5, 40, have 40 cents. Express it as money, put your dollar sign, $30 and 40 cents. You do not need to put the cent sign unless there are no dollars. Moving along, we have number 8, a simple multiplication. So it's either you can multiply or you don't. So let's go. Six twos are twelve. Cross the two. Put it in. Where do you put the two? Because I multiply by the two, I put it in line with the two. Zero twos are zero, and one make one. Four twos are eight. Now I'm going to multiply by the seven. I'm going to change the 
color to a green. Six sevens are forty two cross the two. Now each time you go in a new line, you're starting on, on a new level. So let's go again. Six sevens are forty two. I cross the two, and because I multiply by the seven, I'm going to put it in line with the seven. Zero sevens are zero, so it's zero plus four make four. Four sevens are twenty-eight, so we can put in the whole twenty-eight. Fill up the empty space with zero. Zero plus two. Two, two plus four, six, one plus eight, nine, eight plus two, ten. Ten thousand nine hundred and sixty two. A set of five coins sums up to one dollar. Draw the missing coin. A dollar is how many cents? Yes, a hundred cents. So we have fifty cents. And then 25, that's 75 cents. 75 and 10 is 85. 85 and 5 is 90. 90 and how many make 100? 10. We said draw the missing coin. So if you put 10 cents, you don't get it. They said to draw. So you have to draw 10 cents. 10. Once you have a circle and you have 10, you get it right. Right, write the missing digit in the box provided. Let's go. 9 plus 8, 17. Uh-huh. Cross the 7. You put the 7 in here. 6 plus something equal 2. 6 plus nothing equal 2. 6 is greater than 2. What madness is this? Of course not. It's not madness. Just remember regrouping. Six plus something has to be a number greater than ten. That's why we have the regrouping here. But remember this one has to be included. Whatever you get, it must be added to this one to get something ending with two. Alright? So if you have to get something ending with two. When you add this one then it should be ending with one so let's see six plus what is it that you want to get 12 yes you want to get 12. six plus a single digit it must be a single digit so the largest number can be in this box possibly is nine but nine will not work so six plus what will give you a digit that when you add them then you add that one it will have a two reasonably let's take away and do and do all right reasonably six let's try six and one no six and two no six and three all right let's try six and five six plus five equals eleven eleven and one make twelve could that work Put it two there. Four plus something. I have. Look, we have a one here. Four plus one make five. And two add nothing make two. So this five will have to be correct. Now this strategy is called guess and check. Well, it's a combination of guess and check and some others, but that's perfectly good strategy in mathematics. State the length of the bolded line. Very, very easy because these boxes are all one centimeter wide. I should they're squares, so I should say side is one centimeter, but I'll still say that they're one centimeter wide, one centimeter long. So let's follow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. Yeah. Now, an easy question like this where I would have found nobody should be getting it wrong. What happens is that some children start to count from the end of the line. 
I start to count points when they should be counting lines. All right, so be very careful with that. You have to move first before you say one. One. See that? One. You can't say one from up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And you have to say eleven centimeters. How many more 250 gram blocks are needed to balance the scale? A question like this can be worked mentally, especially for the child who knows that 250 grams is a quarter of a kilogram. So if it's a quarter, sorry, of a kilogram, it means it will take four 250 grams to balance the scale if there's one kilogram on the other side. But the question asks, how many more? If it will take four and you have one already, then you need three more. Moving along. Alan celebrated his birthday on the 28th of May. Sachin Sachin celebrated his birthday 16 days before Alan. When is Sachin's birthday? 28. Take away 16. 8 take away 6 is 2. 2 take away 1 is 1. Let's try the counting back method. We have the 28. We're going 16 days. 1, 2, sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now you saw what I just did there? That's exactly what a child can do. Let me backtrack. That's easier, a little easier to erase right now. Right. This is a calendar. So you remember the words, the numbers. Digits must be decreasing. So you can't go from 27 to 20. You can't go from 27 to 20. 27, 26, 25, 24 if you're counting backwards. So that is something to be careful with about the calendar and another area where children got this wrong is that those who are using the counting rather than the subtraction technique some people counted 28 as one so they went one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen and landed on the thirteenth but remember, you're counting days. So if you're counting days, the first, when the first day starts, a day hasn't passed yet. So you have to move from 20 to 27 to call that one. I'm going through that again. Wrong. Erase, erase, erase. Erase, erase, erase. So we're going to count down the correct way now. I'm highlighting this time. We started on the 28th, so I say one when I reach on the 27 because from 20 to 27 that's one day we're going back in time one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so our answer is 12th of May 2018 that's Sachin's birthday. Happy birthday, Sachin. Let's move on. Express the amount of juice in milliliters. 1.4 liters. Firstly, 1 liter equals 1,000 milliliters. And in time, you want to change liters to milliliters. You have to multiply by 1,000. So let's do that just here. How do you multiply by a thousand? You shift the point three places to the right. So let's do that. One, two, three. You fill in the empty spaces with zero. The point is now in the at the back, which is understood. One, four, zero, zero milliliters. Number fifteen. The diagram below shows a square-based pyramid. What is the sum of the number of faces and vertices, right? 
sometimes children don't know what a face is at this stage this is a face here right there are four triangular faces and one square face in this shape so in total you have how many faces five faces the vertices are the points let's look at them vertex one vertex two vertex three vertex four vertex five hit to hear myself see three being recorded three three i need to pra practice that so we have five faces and five vertices you will ask for the sums you add five and five and you get ten moving along number 16 which of the following shapes is a rhombus please learn your polygons because many children are getting them wrong this here is not a rhombus it's a kite right we can see it has two long sides and two short sides let's look at a and b now what is a rhombus a rhombus is a quadrilateral we have two quadrilaterals here a rhombus has no angles that are 90 degrees let's look at these two shapes here but a rhombus is supposed to have all sides equal we are sure that a has all sides equal b looks like it has two long sides and short sides and we can hardly compare very well because diagonal lines cannot be compared to horizontal and vertical lines on a grid you can't see well this is three so this is three as well as we did our geo board activities you'll realize that the diagonal lines tend, tend to be a little longer so but we, we know for sure because A is only made up of diagonal lines. Diagonal lines can be compared with diagonal lines. We are sure that they are all the same length. We are sure that the angles are not right angles or 90 degrees. We are sure that it's a four-sided figure. We are seeing that opposite sides are also parallel. So it's definitely a... Rhombus. Number 17. How many right angles are there all together on the faces of a cube? This is what the face of a cube looks like. And we have four right angles. How many faces does a cube have? Six. So six faces with each face having four right angles. Six fours are 24. The tally chart shows the favorite colors of 33 students in a class. Insert the missing information to complete the tally chart. So we add 7 plus 5 is 12, 12 and 8, 20. Very easy to add. You're supposed to have 33. You only have 20 out of 33. How many are missing? 33, take away 20, which is... 13. So you draw your tally to represent 13. 1, 2, 3. Let me try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen. Wonderful. And number 19, the pictograph shows the types of vehicles in a car park. Types of vehicles in a car park, car, maxi taxi, truck, van, SUV. And if this guy from what you know pulls you up, SUV, sport, utility vehicle, all right? Great, so we are asked, what is the model type of vehicle what is a model and that word model comes from mode that's asking you which re which vehicle represents the mode 
And what does mood mean? The one that occurs the most. In this case here, the highest frequency we're seeing, cars represented the most. This is what some people do. One, two, three, four. And they put a four here. Because they say, that I'm bright man, I know that. And then they get it wrong. You ask, what is the modal type of vehicle? And four is not a type of vehicle. The correct answer is car. Not four, but car. Car. That's the moral type of vehicle. Number 20. The table shows the number of drawings created by students in an art class. Name of student, Mary Sunil Jada Henry Kim. Is that all? Kimani. Number of drawings, 8, 4, 12, 6, 10. Which student created the mean number of drawings? Mean. What is mean? In this case, mean is asking you if you need to, to represent Mary's, Sunil's, Jada's, Henry's, and Kim Manny's number of drawings as one number. What would that one number be to represent the drawings made by all of them? What would that one number be? Well, in order to do that, we need to put all the numbers together and then divide them equally. Remember the blender? So we're putting, this is the blender, all right. Putting eight in the blender, four in the blender, 12 in the blender, six in the blender, 10 in the blender. Put it on, let it agitate. We'll form into a punch there, which is the sum of all these numbers. 8 plus 4 plus 12 plus 6 plus 10. Let's see if we can add smartly. 12 and 8 make 20. 20 and 10 make 30. 30 and 6, 36. 36 and 4 make 40. Let me rub off some of those scratches now. So we have a total of 40. 40. How many students contributed to that 40? 1 two three four five so we say five into 40 and that's eight Woo! mary got eight let's go back to the question which student created the mean number of drawings mary because the mean was eight and mary got drew eight eight and that was section one if there are any errors questions comments Please feel free to do so. I am going to make myself available to be there for you.